started having hormonal issues in my 40s, early 40s, went to the doctor, all they wanted to do was give me. Let's talk about estrogen dominance and how it can literally ruin lives and how common it is, okay? If you guys haven't watched that video of that creator, go ahead and watch it. She had adomyosis, she had a hysterectomy in May of 2024, started having crazy hormonal issues, you guys know, but like I always say, you have to get to the root cause of the problem of the adomyosis, hysterectomy and surgeries are not cures. So after having um, the surgery, the hysterectomy, she had a partial hysterectomy, her hormones started going crazy, of course, because she did not, when you have adomyosis by default, you are estrogen dominant, you have a hormone, there's, you the root causes of these are hormonal issues, right? That's part of the root causes, right? So of course, when you have, having a hysterectomy, having these surgeries don't cure the underlying issue. I say that all the time. So she had a hysterectomy and then started having crazy hormonal issues, went even crazier, really bad insomnia, couldn't sleep, crazy, really bad mood swings. Um, and just her like, like it was making her miserable. Again, gained like 20 pounds. It was making her miserable. No matter what she did, she couldn't lose the weight because estrogen down. Like she had a lot of um, midsection weights, okay? So this then, of course, you know, made her life miserable. She went to doctor after doctor, and the chronologist after and the chronologist, um, they went in to put her on birth control, and then um, eventually they ended up putting her on progesterone. Okay, so she's just recently been put on that. But let me just say this: and recently she found out that she was estrogen dominant, which I could have told her by her symptoms. Like, you know, this it's obvious from her symptoms when you have endometriosis, when you have fibroids. When you have estrogen, you know, um, heavy bleeding, um, endometriosis, or any of these reproductive health issues, any issues with your cycle, that's estrogen dominance, right? Yes, there are other issues going on in the body when you're going through these reproductive health issues, but estrogen dominance, listen, and the, the issue with this is doctors don't talk about this at all. They act like it does not exist. And the reason why this is so dangerous is that a lot of women don't understand that when they're going through these reproductive health issues, it's like it's it's the root cause they don't understand like they're also going through hormonal issues so they think that these surgeries are going to cure them and it's not and they just end up going through all these crazy you know um hormonal issues so then what are we presented with you know hormones bioidentical hormones that again increase the risk of breast cancer because your body does not recognize f fake hormones like it, the, the, i don't care they, what they call it they call it any fancy name they want to Listen, your body knows the difference between your natural hormones and these fake hormones you guys are putting in your body, okay? So that's why it's so important to heal your body, heal your organs, heal your glands, so your body is producing the right amount of hormone. Do not think that these surgeries are going to save you. Do not think that these surgeries are going to heal you. We have to start, stop taking out our uteruses. We gotta stop taking out our organs and start healing them. That's number one, okay? That is not a cure. And a lot of women that have fibroids, adomyosis, they think that this is a cure. Endometriosis even, which is, it's been proven. It, you know, the tissue, the endometrial tissue can still grow with it. Hysterectomy, that's a whole other conversation. But you have to see your, like, stop seeing your body as linear. Like, it's not, your body's connected. So if you're having an issue, a uterine issue, a hormonal issue, you do not, it doesn't go away because you had surgery. It doesn't go away because you're taking fake hormones. It You have to get to the underlying cause, right? We have to stop doing this. This is, again, and if you hear the woman's story, you'll see how this, like, approaching your issues, your health issues, your reproductive health issues, you know, like with surgeries and hormones, it's literally ruining women's lives. Women are literally experiencing really, you know, perimenopause, which is not normal. Now, you're not supposed to experience perimenopause. That is something that literally means toxicity and hormonal imbalances and when you're healthy the body does not go through that so women have now been taught that toxicity all this stuff is normal like it's getting so bad and it's gotten so bad over the years that you see there's a huge increase and this is you know of women in their 40s because of the hormonal issues because it really affects every area of their lives including their womb excuse me including their moods including their anxieties you see women in their 40s not like there's a high rate of women going through divorces at that, you know, because of their, part of it is because of their hormones. Now, part of it, of course, is because maybe the marriage, you know, broke, you know, broke down, they're not right for each other anymore. I totally understand that, right? But nobody talks about what about the hormonal issues that also occur 
when when your hormones are out of balance, you're not even yourself. Like you can't even like it, it, your anxiety. A lot of women get volatile mood swings, and that's not normal. Even if you're on your cycle, it's not normal. It's not normal, right? And how can you actually have a healthy relationship going through all this crazy mood highs and lows? It's not normal. Some women get extremely depressed, you know, as well. So, or get really angry, like really angry, right? So let me just say this. I I'm saying this with love. When it comes to your hormonal health, when it comes to your reproductive health, I need you to address this holistically. You going from birth control to, you know, uh, hormones to this, like this, that's absolutely insane. What if you actually got to the root cause of your fibroids or adenomyosis? What if you actually got rid of these issues naturally and actually restored your hormonal balance and got your body healthy so that it's producing, got your liver healthy, your, um, your gut healthy, your digestive system healthy, your lymphatic system healthy, your body healthy so it's producing the right amount of these hormones. So you're not going through these, like, you're not going, like, when your hormones are out of balance, you as a woman are out of balance, okay? So I just want to put that out there. Um, they literally created this whole propaganda with perimenopause. So now every woman, instead of actually understanding this is a hormonal issue and that they can heal it, they now just stuck at perimenopause. And what do I do to suppress the symptoms instead of actually getting to the root cause of the problem? It drives me crazy, okay? I want women to have freedom. I want women, women to heal. Even if it's not with, working with me, work with somebody that can help them heal and not be, you know, a slave to hormones and birth control, all this stuff that actually is filling up your body with more toxins and actually increasing your, your chance of can certain cancers, estrogen dominant cancers. They are, we can't pretend anymore that they're not consequences to putting fake hormones into your body. You guys should know this by now. You're ruining your endocrine system. Okay. So I say all that to say, okay, if you're interested in really diving deep and getting rid of these issues, okay, I have courses, I have programs that help women restore their hormonal balance, help women get rid of fibroids, get rid of endometriosis, get rid of these things holistically and naturally, okay, by healing their body and utilizing your body's healing capabilities, right, getting to the root cause of the issues and not just suppressing the problem. It is about to be 2025. They literally are designing like, Robots. They have. You guys, if you guys didn't know, right? They put it on news. So the fact that we're still slaves to Western medicine and don't know how to heal our bodies, it's it's literally it's 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 embarrassing. Stop don't go into the second part of the half of the like the last half of you know the the 2020s, right? <laughs> the decade of the 2020s. Don't go into the last half of the half of that without knowing how to heal your body, without knowing how to restore your hormonal balance, without feeling connected to your body as a woman. You're doing yourself a disservice, all right? Whew, I just had to say that. You guys have a great day. Go, I want you guys, if you guys want to heal, go to the link in my bio, okay? Subscribe to my email list and check out the courses. The, 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 the Satisfy Your Womb um, um, program for ladies that have five boys and really serious hormonal issues. There's also, if you have perimenopause and you're going through it, Check out our Detoxify Your Womb Self-Study Signature course that you can literally take on your own. You don't have to take your uterus out. Stop doing that. You're literally, like, stop taking your organs out. Stop. 